The Montreal Protocol The Montreal Protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer, known simply as the Montreal Protocol, is an international environmental agreement regulating the use of ozone-depleting chemicals. It was originally signed in Montreal on the 16th of September 1987 and is the only United Nations treaty that has been ratified by every country in the world. The ozone layer is a layer of gas in Earth's stratosphere that protects the planet from the sun's harmful UV rays. In 1985, a hole in the ozone layer was discovered. This hole is more metaphorical than literal. It refers to two related phenomena, the overall thinning of the ozone layer and the seasonal weakening of the ozone layer at the Earth's poles. This second phenomenon was especially noticeable over Antarctica. Chemists Mario Molina and F. Sherwood Rowland, working at the University of California, Irvine, discovered that chemicals called chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, were responsible for the breakdown of the ozone layer. CFCs contain atoms of chlorine, fluorine, and carbon. They were used in refrigerants, aerosols, and solvents, and are non-toxic and non-flammable. Molina and Rowland discovered that CFCs would float up into the stratosphere, break down, and release chlorine. The chlorine would then react with the ozone, a highly reactive gas made up of three oxygen atoms, and break it apart. The hole in the ozone layer caused a great deal of international concern. In 1985, the Vienna Convention for the Protection of the Ozone Layer was signed. It laid the groundwork for future work to study and protect the ozone layer. The Montreal Protocol built on this. It detailed the phasing out of the use of ozone-depleting substances, including CFCs. Each country had its own timeline for eliminating these chemicals. 24 countries and the European Economic Community signed the original Montreal Protocol. Over time, new countries continued to sign on, so that by 2009, 197 countries had signed the protocol, including some that are not United Nations members. In 2016, the Kigali Amendment added the phase-out of hydrochlorofluorocarbons, or HCFCs, to this treaty. Used to replace CFCs, HCFCs do not deplete the ozone layer as much, but they are greenhouse gases. As a result of the Montreal Protocol, the use of ozone-depleting substances drastically decreased worldwide, though there have been some instances of continued illegal production of CFCs. The ozone layer had begun to recover by 2018 and is expected to return to normal by the mid-21st century. The Montreal Protocol is an example of a successful and long-term international response to a global environmental crisis.